Well, there's an old familiar sign. You don't see very many of those anymore. But it looks like that Piggly Wiggly's not there anymore. Actually, I think it's been closed down for quite a while. I guess all that's left of the Piggle Wiggly now, I guess it's, I guess you can call it. It's just a marked out face and a red tongue. That's all that's left, folks. I remember when I first moved out to this area 11 or 12 years ago. Wow, it doesn't seem like it's been that long ago. But anyway, when I first moved out here, uh, this place was still open. It's a, it's a shame, you know, little places like this have gone out of business. I always prefer to shop at these little, little grocery stores, little shops, compared to the big ones. Hey, fur. Like when we used to have Kmart's all over the place. Always preferred those over the uh, over Walmart's. Looks like there used to be an old bank uh, drive-through ATM here. This one definitely hasn't been here in a long time either. Wonder if that bank is even still around. I like the logo. Kind of have a remnants of an apple on top of there. Yeah, this has been cleaned out for a long time. I wonder if it went out of business or they shut this down around the same time the restaurant. The restaurant. I wonder if they shut this down or shut this down around the same time that the Piggly Wiggly closed. I do not know. It's very possible. And right next to the Ducktown Copper Inn, you got this cool little restaurant. Copper Station. I love when I stumble upon, you know, establishments like this that have this real cool, real cool architecture going on. I love that. That's awesome. It's even, even got that copper stain on the stone to go with the name. Looks like they even have some leftover Christmas lights hanging out. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see, you can get. Well, it looks like you used to be able to get pizza. I think that's what that says. But you can still get subs and salads. Guess you have to find somewhere else if you're had your heart set on. Uh, Big old meat lovers pizza, or whatever your flavor is. Welcome to Ducktown, Tennessee, a quacking good place to be. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the warm welcome. Well, how's it going, everybody? The Genuine Fur here again. And today we are here in Ducktown, Tennessee, kind of venturing out of North Carolina a little bit. And uh, quite a little bit Quite a little bit to see around here. Plenty of loud trucks around here. Gotta love it. But like I said, quite a little bit to see around here. Another nice little, uh, nice little town to explore around a little bit. So, if you'd like to join me, and I hope you do, let's go ahead and get started. One thing I always find fascinating are these old, historic-looking uh, cemeteries. Some people may think that's weird, but I don't. I think it's, I think it's interesting. Especially when you see, you know, the age, the ages of some of these headstones. Some of them go way back. That one's in the, that one's from the 1900s. Well, actually, actually I think that, that date goes all the way back to the 1890s. 
Wow, it really has been here a long time. I wonder if a lot of these graves are of the folks that worked on the copper mine when that was open. Probably so. Wow, that's really cool looking. Wow, that one's really old. Check that out. All the fading and the dirt on that granite. And that's really cool too. They've got, you know, just one, maybe one grave in there, or maybe a family. I don't know. Either way, this old stone wall, that is really neat. You don't see, you really don't see that anymore. I mean, in some places you do, but, you know, nothing like this. Very cool. Better be careful walking up these steps here. A little uneven. There we go. That old wrought iron fence is pretty neat too. Awesome. Plenty of hills here. You definitely get your exercise when you're walking around. Going downhill is the easy part. It's going to be going up there that's going to be a little more challenging. But I think we're I'm up for the challenge. You up for the challenge? I hope so cuz we're going either way. <laughs> definitely smells better on this side of the street you guys think these places have anything to do with that I think so it's making me hungry it's close to dinner time well this looks like a cool place to get a drink and a bite to eat I'll definitely have to try this place one day check it out Pretty nifty. And if you're ever in town and need your ears lowered, I'm sure Steve can hook you up. Just stop right in and see what he can do for you. I love those barber poles. Those are really cool looking too. I just love nostalgia and uh, vintage, anything vintage and nostalgic, you know. I love anything like that. Probably why I'm so into antiques too. And after you get a haircut, get your teeth cleaned if you want. If you're so inclined. Might need it after getting a bite to eat at the uh, brewery back there. Just saying. And I love when these little towns like this, you know, they'll paint, paint murals on the side of their buildings. I love seeing that. That's beautiful. capturing some of the hiking and uh, biking and kayaking that you can do here. Very, very cool.
and some more seating for the restaurants. Here's another angle of that side of the street we were just on. Beautiful little town. It really is. Very peaceful. And this old brickwork is gorgeous too. I am a sucker for brickwork. I don't know what it is. I just find it so cool looking. The home bank. Pretty neat name. I really do love all the stonework here. Gives the town so much character, you know. another view of the home bank that's an awesome name well guys that's going to do it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed this little tour of ducktown tennessee as much as i did and if you did be sure to hit that like button below it really does help me out it lets me know i'm doing a good job and in the comments section if there's you know little towns around you know eastern tennessee western north carolina you know that area if there's little towns that I haven't filmed yet and you'd like to see, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already and you'd like to, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm always building up, you know, more and more videos in my in my uh, channel catalog there. And so, like I said, if you'd like to and you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I'm so glad you guys choose to come along and uh, tour these uh, tour these towns with me it's really fun you know I have a great time doing it and so like I said I'm gonna call it a day I'm gonna go get me some dinner the smelling all this food over here all these little these little pubs restaurants and uh, breweries here it's making me hungry so I think I'm gonna grab some dinner on the way home so like I said until next time take care everybody have a good one.